right, so here I am with Maria, and we are about to embark on this new leg of our journey together. Um, I'm Catherine Fetterman, my friend Maria. I'm gonna let her introduce herself, but um, we've had the occasion to paint three times together during the last uh, few months, and we've decided that we are gonna continue this journey and share it with others in the hope that um, what we learn could benefit you. All right, so Maria, take it away. Thank you for that lovely introduction. As Catherine said, my name is Maria and I am very happy and honored to be doing this video together um, to share this journey with you. And um, I have, we painted three times and I've really enjoyed it so far. And I am looking forward to, um, to um, sharing my, my challenges and um, this, um, this, you know, painting with you as I learn and you're learning from, you're learning with me. Mm -hmm. um, we're all learning this together. Um, and I would like to, I, I, I would like to do this because I feel that it's going to help me grow and I enjoy learning and I like to be exposed in different things. So have fun and enjoy the adventure. Thanks, Maria. So you were mentioning why you wanted to do this, that you want to grow, you want to learn. And um, you are telling me that you'd like to share your discoveries. Yes. Right? What challenges are you having to overcome to make this happen? You know, our audience doesn't necessarily know who you are. I've been blind since birth and I'm completely blind so I have never seen colors and I have to say yes I can't see with my eyes but I can also but I can see with my ears and I could see with you know by um, something that I could touch whether it's very smooth or very rough um, so thanks to my friends and my family that I, I can see, I can see by having them describe to me. So it's like having an extra pair of eyes. Um, so, so sight is, so is definitely sight. one your over your, one of your challenges. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also, um, you know, times to get together and have the opportunity to do this. Um, and also, you know, because it, depending on the weather and also maybe how I'm gonna get my supplies. Now, for someone that's sighted, you could see where you're painting, where you need to put your paint, but the for someone who can't see, you have to somehow adapt it, whether you're gonna use something tactile like uh, a wiki stick, like what I'm holding up, or a uh, puff uh, paint, which I don't know how that's gonna, how that's gonna, thank you, how that's gonna work because it takes a while to dry. I don't know if people can see the label. Or we also have this other, this other, it's, uh, it's plaid, uh, craft glass, um, In gallery, instant, uh, instant letting line, lines, letting mm -hmm. lines. Um, I have not used this one. Um, and so there is, there is so many ways that we could do this and it may not work. It may work or it may not. We don't know. But we're not going to stop there. 
because every little thing that you do whether it's learning how to do something or trying to do something long term for a long term goal um you're gonna have bumps on the road but those bumps on the road should not stop you that's right and another bump on the road that you thought might stop you was cost yes and because when people because i've learned I've, I've, th I've told people oh yeah i'm learning how to paint well oh good luck with that it's a very expensive hobby but Catherine also showed me that it's it doesn't have to be a very expensive hobby That's it's right. how you want to make it yep it's like buying a gift for somebody it's not the gift it's the thought you could give a gift of a gift of company you know that's it's not something that you could hold in your hand but it's it sticks in your heart and in your mind mm -hmm. oftentimes people who haven't painted before are so scared they have fears that they have to overcome i'm curious do you have any fears that you have to overcome um i would say maybe fear of the unknown or fear of whether or not things that we have are going to work yeah i have that so i don't have that fear but i have that curiosity too yeah, yeah yeah and and we're in this journey to get catherine and i are on this journey together and if you choose to journey with us you are more than welcome to and um we're just gonna embark on this um I would say cruise together. I like cruise. that. Cruise. Yeah, you we're like gonna going on, on the water. Cruise. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna embark on a cruise together, and Aww. we're gonna have we're gonna have we're gonna have all these challenges, but it's okay. It's okay. Well, all aboard. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready too. Here we go. So Maria, uh, one of the things that we talked about is we want to make it, uh, we want to learn how to have you paint more independently. Yes. And so we were talking about how to make the process of painting more tactile and use more senses besides vision or my right. eyes as your eyes. Right. So you want to describe some of the things that we're going to be starting with? on this journey, some of the things that together we thought might be good resources for us? Well, we're gonna, oh, I, we're gonna, we're going to come up with ways to, for me to determine what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. Um, during this, this painting cruise, I like this. Um, so we're gonna, again, we're gonna have some things that may not work or that may work and it's fine it's fine so we um we came up with instead of using a painter's palette um we are going to use a paper plate that has four four different uh dividers that could that we could put the oh sorry five i can't count um five um colors of paint in each of the compart or sections mm -hmm. so that i can determine what color goes with what and then we also have to come up with how we're gonna put the the the, the painting uh, are we gonna start from the left are we gonna start from the right mm-hmm and we have to come up with a sequence. Is yep. That, is that what it's called, a sequence? Yep. So How we're gonna set up your palette. Was, yes. What else did you bring? Um, I got this, um, this uh, pl uh, pl uh, pla uh, pl uh, plaid 
ga craft gallery instant lighting lines. Yeah. And we also have... And what those are are basically self-adhesive black raised lines that we thought might be useful for the tactile um, positioning of things, right? Or yes. design of yes. something. Yes, yes. Um, because there, I, I would like to, you know, somehow paint without having to be like, okay, where can I put the paint? Do I put the paint, you know, because I, I may not always have someone next to me all the time. Right. So I would like to do things independently, and it's part of the it's part of the journey. Yeah. So and what else do you have in your hands? I have the sticky wicks and actually, wiki sticks. Wiki sticks. And what's a wiki stick for those who don't and know? And I'm gonna take one. I can take this out of the bag, so you could you could see. And they're basically wax, and you can put it on paper. You can put it on the table. And it's it it's it sticks to, to the surface, and you could use reuse it over and over. You don't have to. Yep. So pieces of yarn. Yeah, these that pieces. are dipped in wax. Yes. You want to pull one off? Sure. And I'm gonna show you how. See, they they're they're like this. This is how they look like individually. Sorry. Yep. My daughter, we used to use those when she was a little girl and we'd make designs and it was neat when we started to talk about doing this class, we both thought about wiki sticks. Yes. Yeah. And um, some of these, uh, the, I, I remember this, um, this sticky, uh, this sticky wicks. Wiki sticks? Or wiki sticks. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm telling you, this, it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it, we're, we're going to have, Issues on how what 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 we call stuff, but it's okay. <laughs> we're we're com we're coming to you completely unplugged. We're unplugged. On <laughs> we're on a cruise together, so you're gonna have some rough rough um some turbulence, and we're also bringing we're also we also have this puffy paint, and basically what this is, um I think it takes a while to dry, so basically it makes like a well, you have to, well you have to have sight to to do this unfortunately um, so you basically you can either make a line either in pen or pencil and then you could use this over it so that I that someone that's um, sighted or not sighted if they want to feel the lines they can feel the lines like make it like a 3d kind of thing yeah. So we actually have three ways for you to feel lines. Right. The wiki sticks, the instant letting lines, and the puff paint. Right. Cool. And there's also there's also other ways, but then I have a tactile drawing kit. But, you know, I thought about it, and the tactile drawing kit, it stays permanent. So I, I said, no, I'm not going to use it. Okay. Um, Very good. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Okay, so the first surface that we're going to start out with is this paper by Grumbacher, and it features in and out pages, so it'll be easy to put the pages back in here after we paint them, if we so desire, or yes. paint them right within the book. And we're going to start by taking out one of these pages. Yeah, I was getting ready to do that, but I just, yeah. Okay, now as you do this, you want to come to the top and gently pull up one sheet. Pull it all the way towards you. Yep, curling it towards you. Yep, there you go. There you go. And now we want to put that, fix that on a board. It could be a cardboard, a plastic board. I happen to have a drawing board. Yep. So go ahead, we're gonna peel off four pieces, a couple inches long. Is this good yep, enough? Yep, that's good. And then you're going to make a loop. Okay, this is when my the, the, the sizes of this is not gonna be the same. So that's another bump on the road, but it's all good. Yeah. 
good. And the next one you do could actually be half that size. Bella, <laughs> ooh, ooh. Bella says, I want to see too. No, Bella, no, Bella. Okay. Try to put it on the corners of your paper. And I have a couple of them ready for you. Here's another one. Um, you know what, too? We want to put that paper a little higher up in the board. Can we move all of that up a little bit? Yes, we can. Okay. So that it's centered more on the board. You have maybe an inch on the bottom, an inch on the top. So like right here? Yep. So this is something you need to find a way to do yourself. So let's talk about how we can get you to have that centered on the board and have it straight. Um, well, I... Do you think our... Um, the lines that we purchased might help with that. Maybe if we put one on each side, like we can use the... I took them off the table. Okay, so we can use one on each, one leading line on each side. Okay, so go ahead and take the paper off and let's try it. Okay. All right, so we tried the leading lines and that didn't stick. So then we Maria had the idea of using the painter's tape. So we did two lines of painter's tape and now we have our four pieces of tape on the back. Yep. Maria, here's your paper. Thank you. Let's see about lining it up. If you can feel it enough to line up so you have the... Probably want to start with the bottom. The bottom, yep. Bottom right corner. Bottom right corner. Where would that go? Mm, can't feel it quite yet, huh? Oh, you can. Oh, there it is. Nope. Here you go. How's that? Just to make it, make it. Do make, another row on the other side. Yes. So right that here. we have a little bit better gauge. Yes. On both sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're pushing the tape down so that we can have this permanently. Yeah. This is actually good also for individuals who just uh, maybe need the extra contrast. Yes. So you can tell the difference between the, you know, the lip. Um, and if you want it, if you want a, a little bit more raised, then um, you can add more tape. You can cut these, you can take a painter's tape and cut it in half and put it on top of it. You can do that as well. Always starting at the bottom, right? Yes. Because we only have can, the bottom. Yeah, can I put, can I move this just a little, yeah. little bit? Though? For your fingers? Yeah. To move it? Yeah. So we did two layers of tape, so you can feel it better. And it gives you more leverage too, because you have that extra lip there. It's too bad the leading lines didn't stick completely. Mm, yeah. Do you did? know what else we could have done is use a hot glue gun. Yeah, we could have, but this, this, this works. This works? Yes, right there. I'll tell you. Look at that. Is she a pro or what? <laughs> Look at that. I don't know about that. She's got it straight all by herself. And that's what we want, right? Yes. Is for you to do these things independently. Yes. So you are good to go, my dear. All right. Let's talk about how to put that paper back in your um, in your book when you're done. Mm -hmm. So, yep. So, so go ahead and so pull we're it gonna up. Paint this. Let's say I painted yep. a um, I painted a sky. Let's say that, but I have it. We gotta do uh, our our water for the cruise, yes, right? Yes, we have to do our water yeah. for the cruise. So we're gonna take the tape out of this. Yep. And another one. Oops, sorry. And what's nice, so then, is you can... We can go back and... Oops. Oops. I got that stuck to the cardboard. Okay, let's see. So we can come back here yep. and put this and back. And it's going to line right up. There are holes with that spiral. Yes, and you just push each one of them in. And you're good to go. Yes. Okay? So, so that when you're all done, that's what you want to do. 
I'm making you do all these steps here. Well, that's the purpose. Yep. Okay, it's time to paint, Maria. Okay. You can pull it out. Okay, it's time to paint. Time to paint. So start at the top. It's better to start at the top and just pull towards you, your left hand. Yep, just pull up, pull up, yep, like that, yep. Okay, and now you're, you've got your board over here. And what I like about these drafting tape, uh, not drafting, painter's tapes is they are reusable and um, we can see. Um, and you can find them anywhere. You can find yeah. them, is that, is that right or? Yes, yes. Okay, you can find okay. them anywhere. Because you don't want to, that's one of the things is on, on, on our cruise is that we don't want to have to go where, you know, and look for these. So Maria, as you do this project, oh, I do want you to notice you have the, um, the little cutout pieces at the bottom, the bottom of the paper. Uh -huh. You want that at the top. Oh. Yep. So each time you work, have the perforated edge. You at, want, I want at this the at the top. top. Okay. Yep. If you know this, uh, okay. So I guess if, after a few times that you use the, the painter's tape, you want to change it because it is after a while it doesn't stick anymore. Right. So where do you have to start? Not at the top. Yep. In fact, you could probably just put the two pieces of tape at the bottom first before you even do the top, is my thought. It's I will tell you there is one other way that you can do this instead of using the tape, and that's to use putty. Do you want me to get that? Uh, we can get that next time. Okay. Because the putty is reusable, mm -hmm. and it's another option. Yeah. We have all these options. That's why... All these options. Look at that! All ready to go. Are you ready to paint? Yes, I am. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to stop the video. We're going to have a parking lot. Yes. Just one of these little bins from the dollar store. And we're going to put in some paper towel at the bottom. This yes. is going to be where we put... Our brushes. Brushes that we've used or they're in the holding area. And we're going to put some water in there. And wait, we'll go in the middle one. About the same amount. We're going to try. I can help you. you go. Good. That's good. Okay. So we've got our water ready, our parking lot, paper towel, and plate towel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're ready to go. That's right. We're going to start with light blue first. And we're going to use that big, not good. And we're going to come all the way to the top. And I'd like you to paint the top half. Good. Right about here? Yep. Right about here? Yep. Okay. And keep going back and forth. You can go back and get some more paint. Good. And go right back up to the top and do that again. Get right to the corner, yep. And if it's dragging too much, add more paint or a little bit more water. You want it to feel nice. That's a pretty sky. Thank you. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Now, um, what I'd like you to do is just go right to your white. There's your white in the middle. Oh, the, oh, the white yep, one. Yep, okay. white's in the middle. Go ahead and, and take some of that white in your brush. I don't Hold have... your brush straight up. Mm. There you go. Yep, just tap gently. Come back. Tap gently. Can you feel the paint when you push down with it? Yeah, yes. Okay. Now, I would like you... Have you ever done any dusting... Yes. All right. You are going to be kind of dusting with that brush. You're going to hold that brush so gently on that paper, and it's just going to kind of 
float around. I'll help. My hands are so cold. I'm so sorry. That's all right. But we're going to get some clouds. So let's come over. I'm going to come all the way over here. And when you, when you, yeah. And you can barely feel it, right? Mm-hmm. So these are some clouds hanging out there. Good. Make sure you go all the way off the edges of your paper. There you go. You want to make sure you hit that. Hit that good and now start moving upwards a little bit. Good. Yeah. Oops. Good. All right. Very nice. You know where you left off, Maria? Uh, You're coming I'm gonna, back to your light blue. Okay. Right. Yes. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a guess. Here. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now That's fill in the whole bottom with that light blue. Go side to side. Yep. You could use more paint. Do you feel how it's like? Can you hear how it drags? Yes. Yeah. When it does that, that means you need more paint. Okay. And that's good. All the way over. Yep. See how it drags? You hear yeah. it? Yes. There's not enough paint. So there's two ide ideas. You can add more paint or add more water. I'm going to get you some more paint on, for you because we're kind of running up our against our unfortunate pickup yep. time. All right. Uh, good. You feel that paint in your brush? Yes. Good. Now fill in that whole, that whole bottom. That's where your water is. Good. Oops. Good. Just stay low, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going lower until you fill in the whole paper. You want to add more paint? Did you hear? Did you feel yes. that texture in the paper? It's yes, because really you can you. feel like if there's no more paint, you can't hear anything. If there's more, there's paint, you can hear nothing, can't hear anything. But if there's no more paint, you can hear that dragging sound. It could also be that it's also me trying to press on the brush too much. No, you were right. We didn't think about the fact that you have all that jewelry on. Hopefully yeah. we won't get paint all over it. Uh it, I I think you can you can take it. You can wash it. I now, like your selection of a palette. I think that's gonna work well for us. Oh thank you. Well it, it was keep going lower? It was uh all the way to the bottom. Like thought of like the last minute. <laughs> it was a good idea. Because you can feel the the um space for that color. Okay, so you want to get all the way to the bottom, Maria. You still have about a half an inch. There you go, right down in there. We're, we were just talking about how I'm going to make some kind of a raised edge for that blue tape so that when she goes over it with a brush, she knows exactly where she is. We can try it. Uh, another thing that um, I used a lot when I was going to school was uh, my teacher used a lot of glue and she would dry it up. And she will make some. She would make something tactile out of it. But that's for another time. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So the top of our water could use a little bit um, more of a crisper edge. So what I'm gonna have you do mm -hmm. is switch to a different brush. Okay. So that you can feel the edge better. That can go, just go ahead and dip that brush in your water and then just leave it in the parking lot. Yep, one dip and then just leave it in the parking lot. Okay. Yep, you got it. So go ahead and wet that brush. 
Yep, and when you want to wet, just dip down and come right back up. And then, yep, good. I'm gonna go into, um, go into your light blue. Into your light blue, and I'm gonna add a little bit of water so that it's a little moisture. Okay. And I'm just gonna have you come at the top of the water, right? Right there, yep. Right there, and just go all the way across. Oh, it ran out of paint. Let's see if we can, good. And then just keep going down. Yep, and we missed a spot, so that's that's gonna be part of just, let me get some more paint for you. Okay. <laughs> that, that's a lot of paint. <laughs> okay. We're having fun. Yeah. Here? Yep, yep. Gotta get that one spot we keep missing. Okay, and straight across. Straight across. Good. Straight across. I mean, missing this one spot right over here. Oh, straight, straight, straight. Right there, we got it. All right, now I'm gonna get some darker blue in with that to give it the waves. I'm gonna clean out that brush. I'm noticing it's not quite big enough. When you want to clean it out, well, well, I'll show you how to clean them out later. Okay. okay, let's go back to this larger brush. Okay, wet that first. One, yep, one dip, and then, and then to the side. Get the extra drip out, oh, good. Yeah. Forgot about now that. come here, yep. All right. Okay, good. Then we'll just go here and go all the way across, holding that brush up. I'm gonna do thin lines. Good. Thin lines across. Good. All right. Good. Actually, paint. So we're gonna wet, take out almost all that water. Yep, take out almost all that water. Good, and we're gonna actually load that with some, some white paint I've squeezed out for you. So is it pretty dry? Is that brush pretty dry? Uh, almost. Oh, I see drips. So you might wanna use your paper towel and just, um, just one swipe on that paper towel. Perfect, yep, now come to your white in the middle, yep. Okay, both sides of the brush. Just bounce it. Cause, yep, bounce it. Good. Bounce it so it goes on its side. Good. Both sides. Yep. And this way. And this way. Good. What we're going to do is we are going to um, I'm gonna turn this. I'm going to turn it so that the water is on the left. No, you are right. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. And you're going to start up here. And you're just gonna do a quick swipe down. Good, and then swipe back up. And you should hear, you should hear that, oops, stay. stay. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is definitely waves. Okay, good, all the way back up. It's giving us the texture of the waves. All right, let's go any farther left than that. And keep going down straight, and then up. And keep going. Yep. All the way to the top. See why 12 inches really should be max? Yes. Good. And all the way up. One more up. Good. Maria, since we have our person coming to pick you up, Let's take a look at what we have. And you have a beautiful sky and the water for our cruise. Yes. <laughs> the 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 what the, the it's it's very uh it's it's right now it's calm. It is calm. Yeah, but it it it, it, it can get kind of uh wavy. Wavy. So you 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 may feel some turbulence. Ah. But it's okay. So what do you think about our class today? How did that go for you? I 
I would like to, I, I, it's, it's giving me a lot of things to work with. So, and I can, I, I, one of the things that I would like to do is do things independently um, and put everything and practice everything so that I could, you know, get the techniques down. Yeah. We're still trying to figure out brushes. Yes. And we spent a lot of time off camera playing around with different surfaces. Yes, we did. Yes, yeah. we did. So that's going to be interesting, starting so. with the paper and then trying plastic UFO paper and clayboard and just seeing which surfaces you like the yep. most. Yeah. So um, how was that for you being able to... Um, load up the brush yourself and squeeze out the paint yourself have you done that before i have not squeezed out paint before but i, I mean it, it has you ha i have to do a lot of feeling how much the paint is and it's um it's gonna take some time but we'll get we'll we will get the hang of it and get used to it yeah that's actually um, hard for a lot of people, squeezing out of those little bottles. So we may choose something different in the future, but this is where we're starting. Um, and again... Because even sighted individuals yeah. have a hard time very often with those bottles. Yeah, and again, you know, we're on this journey together, on the on this cruise together. So there might be things that we find, oh, it doesn't work. Throw it overboard. Yeah. No. <laughs> We don't want to pollute well, the water. <laughs> we would, yeah, we, we don't want to do that. We can, we can probably, you know, try to find other ways to work it. But so far, so good. So far, so good. Bella agrees, right, Bella? Yes. All right. Thanks for joining us today on our adventure with Maria. Yep. Hopefully you like this video. Yep. Bye.